The German Electrical Accident Insurance Institute has updated their standard with two methods for calculating arc flash in direct current systems. For those of you familiar with ETAP's DC arc flash module, you will find that their new methods are somewhat like our maximum power method and Stokes and Openlander methods. The worst case method is a spin-off of the maximum power method, but is expected to be just as conservative, if not more. The iterative method implements different anode and cathode and arc voltage gradient coefficients. The existing German arc flash calculator includes a new tab for DC arc flash analysis for both series and shunt faults, which can be extended to thousands of locations by means of batch instruction files. Just like its Australian arc flash evaluation tool counterpart, the German DC arc flash calculator includes standard specific arc flash labels. This tool also includes nice features to improve productivity and reduce the data entry time. The German standard does not follow NFPA 70 PPE requirements, but follows instead IEC PPE standards like VDE 0682306-1-2. The tool also includes plots and reporting features to send results to Excel. One notable item about the German DC arc flash calculations as implemented by ETAP is that our program also provides incident energy results instead of just simply arc energy results. This can and will prove tremendously useful when you try to correlate DC arc flash results obtained with the German arc flash calculator with those obtained using the ANSI IEEE NFPA methods. This feature makes ETAP implementation of this German DC arc flash standard superior to any other options out there. So within the calculator, you can go to the DC arc flash tab and you have your two methods, worst case or iterative, as we previously disguised, to describe, and then the shunt and series fault type options. And as you change them, the results are dynamically updated, as is with any of the sliders for voltage, current, working distance, gap ID. We can dynamically change any of the input parameters for quick results. And we can look at plots as well. So with the Australian or German arc flash calculator, we can dynamically change the input parameters and quickly see how it affects from a plot perspective. 